Hi everyone, this is Justin from Analytics Talk. I wanted to take a few moments to tell you about some exciting new features that Google's rolling out in Google Analytics today. First is a feature called Advanced Segmentation. Uh, this feature lets us essentially segment all data in a profile by almost any attribute of our website visitors, uh, their visits, or some particular metric. So for example, we can now create segments of data based on revenue, transactions, time on site, number of visits. It's really quite amazing what we can do. What I really like about advanced segmentation is the fact that it's retroactive. We can now go back in time and imply, apply uh, these new segments we create to our historical data. This is something we could not do in the past. Uh, when, in fact, we had to create uh, filters and profiles to get anything close to this. So this is a huge victory. I really like this feature a lot. And it's really going to help us identify what segments of our traffic are performing and which segments are not. Another new feature in Google Analytics is custom reporting. This is something people have been asking about for a long time. Um, custom reports let you create your own layout for data. It's basically the same tabular layout, um, but you get to choose what appears in the table, so what metrics, and then uh, which rows of data that you want. So you can look at campaigns, keywords, uh, all sorts of different things. What's really neat about the custom reports is that uh, the functionality lets you drill into the data. So you can create a table of data um, that maybe starts at the campaign level, then you can drill into the geographic region for each campaign, and then maybe drill into the keyword for each geographic region, and then maybe drill into the revenue for that. So it's really very flexible. It's pretty amazing. Uh, another feature that some of you may have already noticed is a new administrative interface. Um, I love this feature, uh, particularly for all of you folks that are managing large a large number of accounts or a large number of prof profiles, this is really going to help you identify very quickly what's going on. The key to this new layout is the, uh, the addition of data to the admin area. So it's not a lot of data, just visits, time on site, uh, conversions, um, but it's really helpful to pop right in there and see what's going on. Uh, this is really going to change the way that we deploy and that we help clients configure Google Analytics for large networks of sites. So that's a great feature, uh, and you've probably already seen it. A couple other things that are coming out, um, something called Motion Charts. This is another analysis tool. Um, for those of you that remember Trendalyzer, Google uh, acquired Trendalyzer a while ago. Trendalyzer was a company that created visualizations of data, and this is one of the fruits of that acquisition. So now, uh, with Motion Charts, you can actually analyze five dimensions um, of data pertaining to some attribute. So for example, you can take a keyword and see how the conversion rate, the time on site, the bounce rate, and the revenue for that keyword changed um, all over time. It's, it's pretty amazing. Uh, so check that one out as well. Uh, a couple other features. There is now an official API for Google Analytics data. That's right, all of you enterprise folks out there, um, you've been asking for, for a long time, and there's now an official API so that you can extract data directly from Google Analytics. This is a private beta, so not everyone has access to this, but uh, the foundation is there. So hopefully uh, in the future, this will be opened up to everyone. And finally, uh, one other feature that Google Analytics is releasing today is the AdSense integration. Um, this is was kind of leaked a little bit uh, a little while ago, but now it's official. You can now see AdSense data right in your Google Analytics reports. And it appears a couple of different ways. We have a whole section of reports that are specific to AdSense, but we also have AdSense data, um, a new AdSense tab, so the data appears in almost all of our reports. So you can see how things like keywords, campaigns, are generating AdSense revenue. It's really a nice uh, integration of those two products. So a lot of new stuff today. Uh, you probably also noticed some very minor enhancements to the interface, um, gray background, um, more box type layout where they're segmenting the different uh, menu items in the main area for analysis. But overall, this is huge. I think this is really going to be a game changer in terms of uh, the web analytics tools that are out there. Uh, a lot of the features that have been rolled out today have been asked for um, for a long time, the custom reports. Um, the advanced segmentation, uh, and now Google's rolling them out. So I think this is really going to reignite the enterprise class discussion and whether or not Google Analytics falls into that. Um, my personal opinion, we've got a lot of big clients that are immediately going to love this stuff. So uh, this is really, really exciting. So dig in there. Hope you enjoy uh, the new features. I've got a few posts for you guys, and I'm going to be rolling out a few more posts over the next few days. Um, but thanks to the Google Analytics team, these are great features and they're going to really help us all um, push analytics and help people do a better job.